Hi, here's our second technique for cleansing and protection, energetic cleansing and protection. This can help you to rebalance and uh, these days whatever benefit you get out of this is going to be good and helpful. So the second image is that of a canopy. So you can think about, um, oh what's the word, pergola, um, uh, an umbrella, uh, canopy, anything over you. And we can use one of two ways. You can try both of them to use this. So the first way to use this is as an umbrella functions. And that is to protect you from the exterior or the external influences. Uh, so you create a safe space under this umbrella and it excludes what's around you. So you can imagine, bring yourself into um, this nice quiet state, relaxed, again upright without strain, always at ease, deepen your breathing without effort. And imagine this canopy above you and it is establishing a safe space for you. If you are of a certain age, you may remember the cone of silence from Get Smart TV show. It's, um, it's like that. So that's one way to use the canopy, like an umbrella. The other way to use the canopy, it's the same canopy, but we do is kind of the opposite. So instead of kind of uh, excluding the external, we're going to use the canopy to generate a vibrant uh, space around us from the canopy. So that the canopy kind of uh, rains down, if you will, the protective, the cleansing. And I'm going to invite you with either of these to use your attention and intention to work either with the cleansing or with the protective or both because there's not a big difference between them. So this second canopy technique, the interior, the underneath space, the interior space of the canopy, the space right around you is the active, that is the area that is filled up. Use your breathing naturally with this. Don't worry, there's not an in, out, up, down. Always good breathing technique when you breathe. Filling up yourself from bottom to top, side to side, front to back. You're a three-dimensional being. And just imagine that state. And when you're ready to come out of this, either one, just release your attention and intention. Bring it back inside for a moment. Relax your breathing. And just settle before you get ready to transition into the next thing that you do. So you may ask, what happens to all the stuff that gets discharged? Well, think of it this way. It's going back to source to be remade. Think about recycling. You know, we are in many respects on this planet Earth, at home in Gaia, it's a closed system. So what we have is continually recycled, reused, uh, and exchanged. So you may want to go a little, little more clear. Um, I can help you with a little more specific way of recycling and that's to use the elements. So you can discharge, imagine what comes off of you, what uh, is exuded and discharged that may drain down into the earth. We know a lot of things go back to the earth and the earth has 
the wonderful ability to recycle um, the earth and all that lives within her. You may discharge and have it run off like rain. So using the water element, running back to the ocean, all water seeks its own level, sea level. The ocean, another parent on this earth, um, recycles, renews, returns. And one more, you may discharge and effervesce like steam. So recycling back into the air to be remade, redistributed. The earth knows what to do. The elements know what to do. They know how to redistribute in the proper way. So I hope you find these helpful and um, keep up the good work.